obviously we're, we're, we're set up in an unusual format here to uh, accommodate the lighting and the cameras, so I hope everyone will just bear with us. Uh, thank you for, for being here. Uh, let me first acknowledge uh, the great team at Kettering University and Neil Sheridan and Dr. Stan Liberty and others who are here uh, for hosting us this morning at the Innovation Center on the campus of Kettering University. Uh, I also want to thank Tim Herman, uh, the CEO of the Regional Chamber of Commerce, for joining us. Uh, uh, Genesee Regional Chamber of Commerce is the City of Flint's lead economic development partner. So we are at this you know, every day of the week, every week of the year, working on uh, business attraction, business expansion, supporting entrepreneurs. Uh, so he's here today to speak as a partner and, and as a leader in our local business community. Uh, so let's start with uh, some of the good facts. Uh, there are some strong indicators that Flint's economy is beginning to turn around. Uh, according to data from the U.S. Department of Labor, uh, Bureau of Labor Statistics, the Flint metropolitan area unemployment rate dropped from 16% in December of 2009 to 11.8% in December of 2010. Uh, this was one of the 10 largest over-the-year jobless rate decreases nationally. Uh, this is according to the metropolitan area employment and unemployment summary from the Bureau of Labor Statistics that was just released on Wednesday. Uh, you also have um, for, uh, information on our final neighborhood action report. Uh, this is a, an excerpt for you to see our work uh, in, in, in jobs and you know that we have um, many projects that we've been working on. So this is the beginning of a report that will outline what's happening with safety, with jobs, with neighborhoods, how we're working together. So we wanted to lead today and show you an excerpt of all the things that we are doing around economic development. So the summary here is that the City of Flint and the Genesee Regional Chamber of Commerce have worked together with over 40 uh, businesses, uh, institutions, entrepreneurs over the course of uh, late 2009 and 2010, and that all of this work has collectively generated more than 1,000 new or retained jobs for our community. Now, our strongest sectors, you'll see from the list, are in healthcare, in higher education, alternative energy, and also in, in a variety of professional services. The capital investment in these projects that have been uh, announced this year and in late 2009 total more than $300 million. And this translates into an additional 2,000 construction jobs, not just in our local community, and I want to be clear about that as we're talking through different numbers, those construction jobs are regional or in some cases national, part of the production chains that are necessary for those capital improvement projects to take place. Now, with these 1,000 uh, new jobs, uh, retained jobs in our community, you need to know that those on average uh, all support between 1 and 1.5 jobs each. So the, the total economic impact here is 1,000 new or, or retained jobs and more than 1,000 additional jobs that are indirectly supported uh, by those positions. Now, uh, almost half of these jobs have been uh, created in the healthcare sector. Uh, so this is a, an area that's showing very strong growth for us. You know uh, the details about the diplomat specialty pharmacy investments and what's happening at the Great Lakes Medical Technology Center, as we're now calling it, the Insight Institute, and, and other um, projects that are currently underway at the Hurley uh, Medical Center expansion with the emergency room and also the McLaren proton beam, proton beam project. So all of that is adding up to some real success here in our community. I want to acknowledge our, our governor's leadership on this. He stated in his um, state of the state that jobs is job one, and we understand that here in Flint. Uh, we began 2010 with a modest goal of creating one new job every single day. So that'd be 365, and I'm happy to say that when you look at our numbers and our results, we've reached that goal nearly three times over. And innovation is playing a major role in this continued ep economic recovery. That's why we're here today at the Innovation Center. Uh, we have a great 9,000 square foot facility here with internal labs and also uh, office space. 
Uh, Swedish Biogas International, which is one of our, our leading success stories, are here and can show you what they're doing. Uh, this all builds on what uh, our president stated in the State of the Union, that we need to create jobs and industries of the future by doing what America does best, investing in the creativity and innovation of our people. That's what we're doing here in Flint. That's what Kettering University and other partners are doing. So as we look forward into the 21st century in these coming years, we're going to continue to focus on diversifying our economy, focusing on innovation, on entrepreneurship, and we will continue to set aggressive goals. For 2011, the goal now is more than 1,000 new or retained jobs here in the city of Flint, and we want to build on that year after year. So you already know that 2011 is off to a very, very good start. Uh, General Motors has already announced that 750 jobs will be coming to the Flint assembly plant. Uh, General Motors doesn't call uh, those jobs new because in most cases they're being reassigned from other plants. But I can tell you as the mayor of Flint that those are new jobs for our city. Those are new income taxes. That's new spending that will take place at our grocery stores and gas stations. It will have an effect on our housing markets and on other uh, sectors. So those are new jobs for us here in the city of Flint. We also have uh, some exciting renovations that will be underway at the city's own uh, Oak Business Center. Uh, we have a $300,000 proposal that's out, a request for proposal that's out right now to fund uh, energy upgrades and efficiency improvements at that facility so that we can have a home in our community for uh, our small innovators, our entrepreneurs. Uh, they may not uh, fit into the innovation center here. This is a more high-tech innovation center. The Oak Business Center will be more appropriate for your lower tech uh, startup company. So these facilities all work together to create opportunities for our small businesses. Uh, you also should know that the city of Flint, we're very committed to using our federal grant funds and our neighborhood stabilization funds to invest here in this local community. So we are very aggressively using the section three preference that allows for purchasing preferences for local companies and companies that employ full-time <laughs> local residents uh, in their workplace. So we're using our federal grants, our neighborhood stabilization dollars to invest in our community. We're investing uh, in entrepreneurship and we'll continue to work with the Genesee Regional Chamber of Commerce, you know, day in and day out, uh, week in and week out, to diversify this economy <coughs> and make this a place that's known for its innovation, for its partnerships, and for its success. So I'm uh, glad we can come today and share some good news. I want to hand, uh, hand the, uh, the mic off to Tim Herman uh, to speak from the Genesee Regional Chamber's perspective. So thanks, Tim.